to the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out. Radio 610 WTVN, Joe Jude and Jack DeVos. It's over the line on 610 WTVN. Batman. That, and then it just goes on like that. Yeah, but then there's the big finish, right? Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, so you want the dun 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 Yeah, okay. yeah. Right, yeah. Here we go. We'll, we'll give Adam West the whole thing. <sighs> I was so sad yesterday. That was, yeah, Adam West, TV's Batman from the 1960s uh, series, dead at the age of 88. That show ran on ABC from January of 66 to March of 68. It was three seasons, and they did 120 episodes. Yeah. Can you th- imagine that? Yeah. This this and, Ad- and Adam West, during that time, made love to every woman in Hollywood. <laughs> but fu- just... just- 40 episodes a season. We're lucky. Whatever your favorite show is, you're lucky to get 15 episodes a year out of it anymore. Well, wasn't it a daily show? Wasn't it on five times a week? Because the same bat point, time, yeah. same bat channel. Yeah, I think Cause so at the end, Because every episode ended on a cliffhanger and it, with the tagline, tune in, same bat time, same bat channel. I watched... Uh, I mean, obviously, we weren't around during its first run. Yeah, we I watched, watched it. We watched it in reruns on YouTube this morning. I watched a 1999 episode of the Donnie and Marie talk show where they did a uh, Batman reunion. So they had Adam West, Burt Ward, uh, Lee Merriweather, Frank Gorshin, who played the Riddler, and don't remember who name her name who played Batgirl. And uh, they had the the Batmobile out there and all that kind of stuff and. You know, um, so no, so no. Burgess Meredith yeah. played the Penguin. He did, and Caesar Romero was and the Caesar Joker. Caesar Romero was the Joker. Yeah. Now there were two Riddlers, Frank Gorshin. Yeah. And then uh, he was also on John Aston. He was oh, that's Gomez right. Adams. It was funny they asked Frank Gorshin when when people came up to him. You know what? Is, who I think won an Emmy for that. Um, they asked him. You know what, what do people say when they come up to you? And usually he said. Usually they come up to me and say, "Oh my God, you're the Joker." <laughs> now the thing about John Aston when he was the Riddler. Yeah, I remember he didn't shave his mustache. He still had yeah. his Gomez Adams mustache. Right, and I thought that that. You're wearing a little thin green mask around your eyes, and you've got a mustache. Everyone's going to be able to pick you out of a lineup. Shave the mustache, super criminal. Uh, on social media yesterday, on Adam West's official uh, Twitter account, his family posted the message, Our beloved Adam West passed away last night. He was the greatest. We'll miss him like crazy. We know you'll miss him, too, uh, from the West family. Uh, again, Adam West passing away, age 88, uh, from leukemia. Ben Affleck, uh, current Batman. Uh, posting Adam West exemplified heroism, kind, funny, and an all-around good guy. Thank you for showing us all how it's done. And Burt Ward said, in my eyes, there was only one real Batman, and that is and always will be Adam West. He was truly the bright knight. Because Adam West, Adam West was a different kind of Batman and didn't really care. For, it wasn't that he that he had something against like Christopher Nolan or, or whatever, but his Batman was a different Batman. It wasn't the dark figure. It was a, it was a comic. He was more Ad, Adam West's Batman never brooded about his dead parents. Yeah, Every, all the other Batmans brood about the dead parents. You never saw the the origin montage of of Adam West going and laying the roses down behind the opera house where his parents were gunned down when he was nine. He uh, I I saw this uh, this note from Variety, which is I always you know I, I have a lot of useless television trivia in my head, but I did not know this. Adam West beat out Lyle Wagoner. From the Carol Burnett, who would later be on the Carol Burnett show, he beat out Lyle Wagner for the role of Batman. Well, Lyle Wagner went on to be on his own superhero series. Did he? I, what, he was he was Steve Trevor on Wonder Woman. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now the other th- crazy thing about Adam West was he was on SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants watches um, his has his heroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah, and they're clearly 
based on the 1960s Batman and Robin show. Yeah. And uh, Ernest Borgnine played Barn- or played Mermaid Man as an old senior citizen, which is usually who shows up. But when they when they would do flashbacks to young yeah. Mermaid Man, he was voiced by Adam West. Uh, Adam West, after uh, after Batman went off the air, he uh, he was he was upset for a time uh, because he wanted to go on and do do other things. He wanted to go on and be in features and and do other stuff. But he said that every time I walked onto a set or a stage. It seemed like the producers would be afraid that people would just see Batman walking in, and so it, it sort of pigeonholed him, and he he was sort of cornered in his career. Okay, uh, and he got to a point where he just embraced it. So I I can see that because I was watching, I was watching me TV the mm-hmm. other day because I'm, I'm not, for some reason I'm 67 years <laughs> yes. old when I when I watch TV. Sure. So I was watching me TV and I was watching Perry Mason. Yeah. And the reason why I was watching Perry Mason is because I never saw the Perry Masons. So every episode of Perry Mason is brand new to me. Yeah. And Adam West was a guest star on this episode of Perry Mason. Yeah. He played a guitar playing beatnik. <laughs> and all I could think about was, that's Batman. Now That's n- Batman playing that guitar in that coffee shop. Now, like you say, he has done other things. I'm not a Family Guy fan, so I don't watch a lot. So you can probably talk more about it than I can. Well, he, pl- he played the mayor of Quahog. And the mayor's name was Adam West. Yeah. But it wasn't the Adam West. He was a completely different person, but he just happened to be named Adam West. You, you and I have been in, in radio for a very long time. Did you ever have an opportunity to to speak to or meet Adam West? Uh, I met him at a, at a, at a, a comic book convention Did probably you? in 1995. Okay. So What was that like? It was great. He was very nice. He was very, he was very dapper. Okay. Yeah, he looked like he looked like the guy who hits on everybody at the senior citizens. Oh, he home. he definitely definitely had uh he definitely had those uh those uh uh, uh the the good looks. That, I mean, he was oh, a very yeah, dashing. He was, yeah, he was he dashing was, like like you know he was yeah his looks got him the acting gig. Yeah, <laughs> he was an okay actor. You know, I'll tell you, uh, I, I had one encounter ever with Adam West, and it was when I was. Uh, now, I've been to dinner with Burt Ward forty five times. Oh, shut up. <laughs> So I was a I was a new we mentioned we used to be over on the FM side. So I was a new intern at CD one hundred and one, and I had been there for like two weeks, and and was there in the middle of the day for some reason. And I was walking past <laughs> the receptionist desk, and I mean I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Twenty years later, uh, but the phone was ringing off the hook. <laughs> nobody was sitting at the desk, and so nobody was answering the phone. And I didn't know what to do. There was no one around. And the phone rang, and like the fifteenth time it rang, I was I looked at it and I was like, I wonder how you answer this phone because there were like a million buttons. And I figured out how to answer the phone. I just I just answered the phone, uh, hello, and <laughs> and some guy said, yes, I'm calling for you. He was calling for the morning guy, and I said, well, who who can I say is calling? And he goes, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> It really was. And I'll never went, forget right, that. Who's really calling? Oh, I you recognize that voice. I didn't catch it to start with because I was still thrown by having to answer the phone. But but when he said I'm Batman, I knew exactly who he was. Well, you should have said this is Commissioner Gordon. I need you <laughs> need you downtown to stop the the bank heist. I remember it was so cool going to the morning guy and saying and saying Adam West is on the phone for you. <laughs> it's just it's such a such a such a weird thing. And so then he said you transfer, and you went. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I've only man, been here so, two weeks, man. All I've done is get coffee. I was so so bummed, like so many other people, to to see that news yesterday that he had passed away. Well, I didn't realize he had leukemia. It said he he'd suffered for a short time with yeah. it. He, uh, so I don't I don't know how long uh, how long he had uh, been dealing with that, but uh, it's a, a short time according to his family. Mm. So, but uh, so Adam West uh, gone at the age of eighty eight, and with that, that's this week's visit to the Overlying Graveyard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This, the, the-